Okay, so let's take a look at this question here on how to do this mortgage um, analysis problem. This is sort of like a rent versus um, um, buy kind of question here. So we have a situation where we have two students. One person is just going to rent an apartment for five years and another <clears throat> person is going to have their parents buy them a house. Um, rent out part of the house, but take a mortgage on it and then sell the house at the end of the five year term. And we're kind of want to see how all the numbers and the math works behind this. So question number A says, how much did Jordan's parents pay in rent over the five years? So Jordan is the person who's just renting an apartment for $750 a month. Okay, so to do this calculation is very simple. You just have $750 per month. Okay, and you're going to pay this over five years, but that means you're going to be renting this for 12 months, okay, because there are 12 months in a year, and then you're going to times this by five years, okay. Um, <clears throat> so there's 12, 12 months in a year, and then times it by five years, and that will give us the total value that this person has to pay out. So this person, Jordan, is going to pay out $45,000 in rent for the course of five years. Okay, so that's the answer to that question. For B, what we're done, what we're doing here is Mike is going to purchase a house. His parents are going to purchase a house. And so to do this question, you are going to need your TVM solver. So you need the calculator, either the emulator or the real calculator, or you can use the web app um, that I believe there is a link to it in the course where they can show you how to, uh, to, to use this. Or you can use any other TVM calculator that you find on the web. Okay, and what we're going to be looking at finding here are the mortgage payments, okay? So this is the payment amount. So in the TVM, what you do is you fill in the information for all the other blanks, and then the one that you wanna find is your question mark, and then the calculator will go and solve that for you. So what is the number of periods for this, um, uh, this the, the loan on this house? Okay, well, in this problem, we're using this for 15 years. Okay, so 15 years, but we're, we have um, 12 payments a month. So N is going to be 15 times 12, which is equal to 180 payments. That's the light, total number of payments of the, um, of the mortgage. The interest rate is set at 4.15%. Okay, so that's the, the amount you have there. The amount of the loan that you're going to take out is known as the, the, the present value of the loan. Okay, so it's not actually 285 for the house because you can't buy the house unless you put down 10%. So it's 285, take 10% of that number, which is 28,500, and then you subtract that. So your loan value is actually only going to be $256,500. Okay, so that's 10% off the list price of the house. The future value of your mortgage or your loan, if you were to take it for um, 15 years at a, at a, and 12 payments per, per year, um, would be zero because the loan goes to zero. The payments per year, you're doing 12 and the compounding periods per year is two because it says it's semi-annually. So you plug that into your calculator and you, you will get a negative value here of negative 19.1206. Okay, the negative means that it's a payment. It's going, it's, it's cash flow is leaving you. Okay, so that is the amount that you would pay out every month or that the bank will collect from you. It's 1912.06. Okay, and then in C, this is a typical question. What, they're, what they have is in a mortgage, you may not want to take it to the full term because you might want to sell the house at some point. So typically after five years, you have to renew the mortgage. So they want you to ask how much is left to pay on the mortgage after five years. Okay, so left to pay on the mortgage after a certain amount of time is what would be called the future value of the loan. Okay, if you took it to the full 15 years, the future value of the loan is zero. But if we're just taking it to five years, the future value of the loan will not be zero. Okay, it's still going to be in a certain amount owing on it. Okay, so if we go through our, our values here, we're gonna be looking for the future value. That's what we're trying to find. The number of payments is just going to be five times 12, which is 60 payments into the future. The interest rate is still 4.15. The present value is what we started at, because this is the first five year um, cycle. 
So we started with a $256,000, $500 loan. We know our payments. We calculated that already in the previous question. It's $19,1206. That's the payment each month. And we're still doing 12 and two. Okay, and then if you plug this into the TVM solver, you will find that your future value of your loan is still going to be an amount owing or outstanding, but it's going to be $187,842.55. And fifty-five cents. So that's what's left owing on the the mortgage after five years. Okay, so you can just put that in there as an amount here. And in question D, we're asking how much the house has lost in value over five years. So when something gains in value year over year over year, that's a compounding um, gain or a compounding um, amount. But if we're losing value, that's also a compounding amount, but it's just in reverse. Okay, so if you remember the compound interest formula tells you that the value of an, in of an investment, A, is equal to the principal times one plus R over N to the NT um, power. Okay, so that is how much the investment gains. So there is a corresponding formula that you can use, which tells you how much the investment is worth if it's losing value. Okay, and it's actually very similar. It's just P times one minus RN over NT. Okay, so this is the one that we're gonna be used because we're, we're losing value um, every year. Okay, and, it's, and uh, the question says it's 1.5%. Okay, so we'll just go through the numbers and we'll fill them in here. So our initial principal is equal to $285,000. That's the value of the house. The interest, the rate of loss each year is 1.5%, okay, or 0 0.015. Um, we are measuring the loss just at the end of each year. So the number of periods that we're, we're calculating this compounding um, rate happening. We're only doing it once per year. Okay. And the total time period that we're looking at is five years. Okay. So N is equal to one in this case, which kind of makes it easy to work with. So the home value. Okay. So a, the value at the depreciated value at the end of five years is just going to be $285,000 times one minus 0 0.015. Okay. All over one raised to the one times five or just five power of five. So that means that at the end of five years, this house is going to be only worth $264,000, $264,256.70. Okay, that's how much it's worth. But the question is actually just how much did it lose in value? Okay, so you actually, to do this question properly, you have to take the initial amount, which is 285, it's $285,000. Okay, and you have to subtract the $264,256.70 from that. So the loss on this house turns out to be $20,743.30. That's how much it lost at the end of five years. Okay, so it wasn't worth more than what they started with. Okay, in E, they're saying, okay, we're done with the house at the end of five years. We don't need it anymore. So how much, um, what do we get left uh, out of this thing? So this is called equity in the house. Okay, and everybody, as you pay the mortgage off, everybody, your equity grows. This is the amount that you owe or that you own in it. So the equity in the house is equal to, at the point of time, the market value. Okay, so because remember, you're going to sell the house and you can't sell it for more than what the market's willing to pay minus what's left on the loan. Okay, so left on the mortgage. Okay, and so we've held the house for five years. Our market value of the house is only $264,256.70. ,264 and what's left on the mortgage is what we calculated in part um, C there, which was $187,842.55. So the difference in those two numbers is what you get to take away when you sell the house successfully. So you make 
or well, you, this is maybe not what you made, but this is what you are able to keep at this point, which is seventy six thousand four hundred and fourteen dollars and fifteen cents. Seventy six four fourteen fifteen. Now that's not your profit. That's just what you keep because um, profit depends on what your expenses were and, and other things like that. But that's the equity or what you would you would get out of selling the house. And then how much did Mike's parents have to subsidize their rent for a five-year term? Okay, so what we have to do to think about this is we know that the mortgage cost in the house was $1,912.06. Okay, that's what the mortgage was paid every month. But we do know that we had two rooms rented Okay, and those two rooms rented brought in $1,200. Okay, so that means we were only out of pocket. We'll just do the quick calculation here. 1912.06 minus 1200. We were out of pocket every month, $712.06. That's how much we, or Mike's parents, had to subsidize every month. And then... He was there for five years, so that's 712.06 times 60 months, because that's what five years is. And that gives us a total of $42,723.60. Okay, so that's how much Mike's parents had to pay out for over the course of five years because we had a deficit every month of six, seven, twelve. Okay, so that's how you work through this question. Um, you really need the calculator, the TVM so, uh, solver in order to make sense of these numbers. Okay, and the key there is to figure out what goes in each of those um, fields and those parameters. So try this out a few times, make sure that you understand how it works and how you key in those numbers. Okay, and then how you can generate those values.